So, you want to make a real mixtape on a real cassette that you can then give to your friends, your family, or even a special sweetheart. Well, today, I'm going to show you how. Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I am Jarrett New, and today we're going to talk about how to make real mixtapes on cassette. Now, speaking of mixtapes, if you guys want to check out some really cool mixtapes on vinyl, then you should definitely check out our sponsor for this video, Vinyl Moon. They release awesome colored vinyl record mixtapes every month directly to your door. Now, when I say mixtape, I mean that all 10 tracks on their records are by different bands and artists, so you get introduced to a lot of new cool music. And the artwork is gorgeous. So if you want to check them out for yourself, their link is in the video description down below. All also, when it comes to standard mixtapes on cassette, if you or your friends don't actually have a cassette deck or any type of cassette player to actually make a mixtape, then you could kind of cheat and pick up one of these USB flash drives I discovered online that kind of look like a cassette. Now, of course, this isn't the real thing, but it is a cute little novelty that I thought was worth mentioning. But we are not here for fake mixtapes, no. We want the real deal. So the first thing you're gonna need is a good cassette deck. And I would encourage you to find a vintage one on either eBay, a thrift shop, or even a garage sale. Also, portable cassette players, like this one, will allow you to play mixtapes, but they won't allow you to make mixtapes because they don't have an RCA input in the back, and we're definitely gonna need one of those. So there are three main ways to make a cassette mixtape. The first way is by using a simple dual cassette deck, which is a cassette deck that has a cassette well on the left side and also on the right side. So the idea is to queue up tracks on the left side with a cassette tape, and then once you have the song that you want, you hit play on the left cassette and then play and record on the right cassette. And then the right cassette becomes your mixtape. So that method is basically going from cassette to cassette using the same deck. Now the second way to make a mixtape is by connecting a CD player to your cassette deck, which would allow you to put digital music on your cassette mixtape, which is pretty unique because you're blending both analog and digital together, which is kind of cool. Now, all you have to do is connect the CD player's RCA out cables into the cassette deck's RCA input, and that will send the music directly into the cassette deck. So just like the previous method, all you have to do is queue up the tracks on the CD player and then hit play, and then on the cassette deck, you press play and record to make your mixtape. Okay, so we've talked about cassette to cassette, and CD to cassette, but what I wanna focus on today is the third method, which is going from vinyl to cassette. And basically, just like the CD method, all you have to do is connect your turntable's RCA out cables into the cassette deck's RCA input. Now, this will only work if your turntable has a built-in preamp. And being that my LP120 does, we're good to go. Now, a couple of things before we get started. All cassette decks are gonna have some sort of bias adjustment, and bias is basically a tool that helps you improve the sound quality of your cassette recordings. Now, some decks have automatic bias, which is kind of convenient, but I actually prefer setting the bias myself. So basically, all you have to do is make sure your volume is set to a good level, and then press play and record on the cassette deck, and after several seconds of silence, then you can press start on your turntable and drop the needle on the track that you want. Now, once the track starts playing, you can adjust the bias to the position that sounds the best to your ears. Also, I like to set my volume level to where the peaks are hitting zero, which is a nice loud volume, but it's not so loud that it's getting distortion. So after you've set the bias and the volume and you're happy with everything, then hit stop on the cassette deck and rewind the tape back to the beginning. That was just the test, and now we're ready for the real thing. So all we have to do is press play and record on the cassette deck, drop that needle on the turntable, and let the song play. Now, those volume and bias levels should be good for the rest of our recordings. So basically, after we've dialed everything in, we can just leave those alone. Now, after each song is done, you wanna press stop on the cassette deck, queue up the next record, and then once again, press play and record on the cassette deck, and drop the needle on the turntable. So basically, you just repeat this process with every track until your cassette mixtape is full. And that is how you put vinyl music on a cassette. Now, the last thing I'll say is that if you go with a Type 2 chrome tape, 
like this one, the sound quality of your mixtape is going to be better than if you went with a standard type 1 cassette tape. And if you don't know which tape is which, usually the tape on the higher quality cassettes is black and the tape on the normal quality cassettes is a brownish kind of coffee color. So, do you guys still make real mixtapes in 2017? Let us all know down in the comments below, and if you love music, join us. Join the Vinyl Army and hit subscribe, because I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of great videos every week that you're not gonna wanna miss. Be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. All of my social media links are down in the video description below. And most importantly, guys, have a fantastic day, and keep spinning that vinyl. Shiny cassettes are the best cassettes.